Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever time you are watching this um, beautiful presentation on um, grass cutter farming for beginners, a practical approach. You are welcome to this our presentation once more. Um, as you can see on the screen, this presentation is made by myself, Mr. M. M. Musa. I am the president and CEO of Jaguar Educated Farms. I also double as um, the farm manager with Zad Farmers Multipurpose Cooperative Society. This our presentation is going to be uh, on grass cutter farming for people who are absolute beginners. With this presentation, you know what you need, how to get started. And above all, how to make money from grass cutter farming. We, as much as possible, will try to make it um, practical based. So, you are welcome once more. We move over now to our next slide. Yeah, move over to the next slide. And this slide shall be looking at the outline. Uh, for the, we have divided this presentation into three parts. Make it. Um, easy for download and accessibility we have part one part two and part three for the part one we'll be looking at just basic introduction into grass cutter farming we'll also look at management how do you manage grass cutter farming what are the methods involved then we'll, part two we'll look at the construction of housing that is the cage and equipment needed in grass cutter farming we we'll also look at um, feeding system part two how you feed and care for the grass cutter and then in part three we'll look at reproduction how to manage them for proper reproduction and of course health care management now part one introduction uh, grass cutters and this is the scientific name Trionomus sideranus or Trionomus gregorianus. This is the scientific name of grass cutter. There are basically two species: the black species and uh, the brown species. They are all rodents widely found in grassland or marshy areas in Africa, uh, mainly West Africa. So generally, um, grass cutters are rodents. And they come in two main families and they are found largely in West Africa, West Africa precisely. They are heavily built, they have a rounded muscle, small round ears, short tails, and harsh bristle fur. They have a peculiar bristle tail which readily fractures near the base, which re sorry, which re readily fractures near the base. No, this is just trying to explain what grass cutter look like. They are, they are four, the hair on their body is a little bit bristled, a little bit hard. Their tail is a little bit fragile, it can break if not well handled. It's more or less like the tail of a um, lizard. This is just a brief introduction. Now this is the pictorial representation of a grass cutter for those who have never seen it before. You see, it looks like a rat, but it's quite, quite bigger, very, very big, and the tail is a little bit shorter. You can see this one here eating grass. This is the black species, you see, completely black, and has a white fur under. The other species, this um, fur here, is a little bit brown, not as black as you can see here. Uh, this is a video, but it is not um, playing properly, so I'll skip over to the next slide. Now we look at the management. How do you manage for manage the grass cutter? Now, grass cutter can be raised or managed in a variety of production systems. These include intensive and extensive. Now, when you want to manage grass cutter, you want to rear grass cutter. There are two systems that are applicable. So that you rear them intensively, that is in a confined system or an extensive system. Now we look at um, intensive production in this type of system grass are kept in floor pens cages or hutches in the intensive grass are kept in isolation 
they are kept in isolation and in this form of isolation they are isolated in floor pens or in iron cages or hutches which are made from bricks as we move along we'll see a picture of these now the intensive system has some advantages number one is effective it has a very good effective management system because the crash water are completely under your control you regulate where they go to where they eat what they eat how they eat their mating report everything is completely regulated by you so it gives you better effi effective and efficient management and when it comes to cleaning it's very very easy to clean easily enable the farmer to handle animals as often as necessary to obtain blah 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 blah, blah. so everything here is that an intensive system is completely under the control of the grass cutter an intensive system you the farmer becomes a grass cutter because you have to go and cut the grass for them to um, to eat and you control and regulate it so it gives you better yield because everything is under your control and the advantages of this one is that uh, it increases the production cost because you must make facility for where they will stay with an iron brick or whatever so it's a little bit expensive then it increases stress level among the stock now when you stock your pen with new grass water it, it can increase their stress level because they become very agitated they try to run around and because it's a confined area you see them hitting them hitting themselves uh, on the cages which can increase the stress level for them apart from these two uh, the intensive system happens to be the best form and um, we don't encourage farmers to go into the extensive system because of its numerous disadvantages now in this type of system which is the extensive system the guys that are kept on a piece of several square meters surrounded by a wall or iron nothing so in this system you just have a piece of land you create a, a kind of fence made from iron mesh or wall and you plant all the vegetables and all the uh, whatever you want grass cutter to feed and you just put them there there's no regulation you don't control anything you just make available for them what they will eat and they take care of themselves this is not very good for proper production this is a, this is a typical example of an extensive system you see this first round usually with iron mesh or bamboo or wood you plant shrubs inside and you put a grass cutter and you take care of themselves the advantage of the sensor system is it's very is in very inexpensive you just have more freedom to move around so the stress is not really there they are not really agitated because it's very wide you can run around you know have places to hide so they are happy but it has a lot of disadvantages they are prone to predator and thieves you can't control it. anybody can come in and steal except it's very high um, you cannot follow up technically on the animals you can't tell which is sick which is not sick you can't tell when they are pregnant you can isolate them when they get um, pregnant and when they, you know a lot of things and grass cutter animals do not they do not um, if, you do, if you do not prevent inbreeding it can result to high rate of mortality so in the, the extensive system this is one of the disadvantages you cannot regulate anything you cannot regulate their lifestyle and you cannot properly maintain them now general management of grass cutter when you want to manage grass cutter the things you must have in place are um, house in, in captivity you must put them in captivity the intensive method is actually the best for people who want to go into real farming you have to put them in capti captivity and very 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 important record keeping very very important once your graph data comes in you must um, do proper record keeping uh, the detail of this one are captured in my manual um, also you must know how to handle grass water young and old because from time to time you may need to handle them and you may need to administer um, some medication if they need be so this basically gives you an introduction into um, um, grass cutter basically what they are as you said earlier on they are rodents and um, 
for a farmer who wants to raise them, you raise them in two methods, it's either the intensive or the extensive um, uh, method. In the intensive method, which is the best I would recommend, you create a home for them and you house them in this home and you provide everything for them, medications, uh, feed, and you regulate their mating and pre pre prevent in breeding. Uh, thank you for listening. For more information, uh, we urge you to go to our website www.jagwayfarms.com or you just send us a mail at jagwayintiquitedfarms at gmail.com uh, we will do well to respond to you. And meanwhile, we want to use this medium to inform you about our manual. This manual is on grass quarter farming. It's written by myself. In this manual, you get all the details of what you need to know about grass quarter farming, how to do proper record keeping, how to prevent uh, mating, and what have you. And then, um, if you purchase our book, we make special provisions for our customers. I've created a very secret group where I add all my customers to the group. Where from time to time I follow up. They can ask me questions. I provide answers. You know. Um, but you have challenges, you post questions on the on the group. It's a special group on Telegram, not WhatsApp. Telegram. Telegram is a little bit better than WhatsApp because um, you can upload as much as there's no limit to what you can upload. Audio, video, what have you. So I prefer to use Telegram. Sometimes I may need to snap some things on my farm and upload. Sometimes people have to snap from their farm, upload. So I have. I can have access to see it and give them proper um, 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 advice and follow up. However, you cannot join this group uh, until and unless you buy my manual. That shows me that uh, that tells me that you're a serious farmer. Then I will do everything possible to make sure I give you free, 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 free consultation. Help you set up your farm. The book goes for just 3,000 Naira. If you are interested, you can um, drop me a mail. You can drop me a mail or send me a message on WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number to reach me is 080 40, 10. Thank you for listening. I urge you now to move over to the part two where we go into much more details. Thank you and God bless.